G'day everyone, today we've come out to do a little bit of experimental yabbying. I'm here with Santa Claus or Mrs. Santa Claus. Santa Paws. Santa Paws, are you a doggy Santa Claus? Puppy dog Santa Claus. <laughs> Now this is purely an, ex purely an experiment. This little spot here, I've caught stacks of little bait-sized yabbies over the years. I came out here with my open, my little collapsible bait traps about a month ago, and it was dry. It was dry as a bone. Well, when I say dry as a bone, it wasn't bone dry. There was a little bit of water underneath where I'm standing in a culvert, but all that was really dry. And there was a few inches of water underneath where I'm standing underground here. Now there's a dam over there. Now when this dried up, the yabbies that were in here would have either seeked refuge under the culvert, in which case they may be out feeding now, or they may have buried into the mud, in which case I don't know how long it takes for them to come back up, or they could have made their way into that dam over there to seek refuge where there was a little bit of water still. That's full now, but a few days ago it was very, very low. So this is purely an experiment to see if the yabbies can return to this particular spot so soon after the rain. Only three days ago this was dry. We've got two of these collapsible bait traps loaded up with dog food good o's for bait experiment yeah you ready for a yabby experiment uh-huh all right let's go this is santa paws. okay santa paws we've caught we've already caught something look what have we caught uh, yeah, i think you've caught a branch i think it's a bloody bindi or thistle or something all right let's just lower this right in here near the mouth of this culvert hey it could be quite deep in there, so hopefully my cord is long enough. Does it add look? Yep, there you go. Let's just leave that there and we'll come back in a few hours and check it, hey? Yeah, right, now this is the other side of that culvert. And it's the same deal. You could see water up under the culvert there a few weeks ago, but all of this out here was bone dry. This is new water. Will the yabbies come out in feeding new water? Only time will tell. Alright. Now I've got to watch out for that prickle. Pick it straight up. This is the impatient check. It's been in about five minutes, but we've just we've got to know. I care for you don't hook it on the you hold it your arm out a bit, dolls. Pick, pick it up. Pick it up. Quick. Okay, the five minute impatient check has yielded nothing. Maybe this time I'll give it a couple of hours, eh? Yeah, you've got to... When you lift them up here, you've got to hold it out. And you might not be able to lift it up here, actually. It might be a bit hard unless we get a stick or something to help. Because you've got to go... There's a bit of a lip out there where that culvert is. All right, we'll give it a couple of hours this time. Rightio, Santa Paws, what have we got here? Um, frog eggs. Talk louder. Frog eggs. Frog eggs? What's in the frog eggs? Pause. Let's have a look. You can see them there, can't you? Can you see the weeny little baby, those little black things? They're baby tadpoles. Mm -hmm. And over there. Yeah, and there's more here. And there's more over there. There's a big lot over there, isn't there? Yeah. What's that? Is that bird poo? Or? That's bird poo. But look here, you can see the tadpole swimming around in this one. Look at the tiny, weeny little black tadpoles. Aww. On that side, there's a little, there's a little group of tadpoles. A little group of tadpoles. And on the other side, there's still more tadpoles coming. We'll have to come out here in a couple of weeks and see if the frogs are very loud, won't we? Yes. You know, Holly, with all this talk about Christmas coming up in a couple of weeks. You see all these pictures of snow and snow on the roof and stuff because in northern parts of the world it's winter at Christmas. Do you know how to tell the difference between a snowman and a snow woman? Think. Snowballs. That's terrible. Right, are you sure you don't want to check it? I'm sure. Okay, moment of truth. I can't hear much noise, dolls. Oh, there's one in there. A big one, too. <laughs> <laughs> there's only one but he's one big one that can be your pet for your fish tank. yeah 
I'll leave him in the net for now, I think, and put the net back in. He's a very nice, big, clean yappy, actually. Look at that. What a beautiful, clean yabby. There's not a speck of mud on him, look. That's like he fell out of the out of the cloud with the rain. He's got a bit of blue on his claws there, you see that? He's got a little bit of a damage under one claw just here, where something might have grabbed him. So maybe there's other yabbies down there. I wonder if he was living under this culvert or if he came out of that dam over there. And he has no eggs. Or if he just came out from the mud. This was bone dry a few weeks ago, except for a little bit of water under the culvert that I'm standing on. Oh. One big one. I'll put him back in the net. Theoretically, he should be in there later on. Now, this net does have a little bit of a hole in the side here where I was doing some crazy stuff with my GoPro just recently. <laughs> now, these nets, I've got to say, since I filmed that last scene when I put them in, it's been a good two or three hours. We've been back at home and doing a few things, and I've just left the net in there. And I'm going to leave it in there again now and come back out either later on tonight after dark or tomorrow afternoon after work. Net number two over here in Snakeville. God damn, there's got to be snakes in here. Very, very snaky looking spot. It's snaky looking, but it's not yabby looking. Uh, nothing, Holly. We've got nothing, but we'll leave it in anyway. What do you reckon? Rightio, folks, we're going to finish this video off now. We only caught one, but it was one great big one. But it wasn't about catching heaps of yabbies. I've got other dams I could do that. I really enjoy learning and exploring. At the moment, I'm learning how quickly yabbies can come back after a dry lagoon bed is filled back up after rainwater. That's all about the learning. If I wanted to go out and catch big yabbies, well, I've got those dams that you saw me catching them with meat and string recently. I can go out to them any time. But I'm enjoying the journey and the learning, and I hope you're enjoying the journey with me. I've had a blast. Have you had fun? Yeah. We're going to leave the nets in now, and I might come back and check them either tonight or tomorrow. But for now, I'm happy that we caught one because that's a good sign. Because if there's another one of the opposite gender, they might breed. And within months, there could be hundreds of yabbies in this little spot. Who knows? He could have come out of that dam. He could have come out of the mud. He could have been hiding underground under the, the culvert here. There's no way of knowing. All I know is that it's, in, it's fascinating for me to watch a whole ecosystem come back. And it's not just the yabbies. The amount of frogs along these waterways now is just insane. Some of these places were bone dry. They fill up with rain and all of a sudden there's all these white frog eggs and lots of frogs croaking at night time. I think they must go underground and just dehydrate until the water comes in and rehydrates them. Then they come back to life. I don't know. I'm not an expert. But I'm enjoying learning and that's, that's what it's all about. Learning and enjoying the journey because it's very fascinating. You got anything you like to add, Mrs. Claus? Mrs. Paws. Mrs. Paws. Mm. Buy a Christmas hat. Buy a Christmas hat? Do you know what you call people? You know what the diagnosis is for people that are scared of Christmas? Or scared of Santa? What? They're claustrophobic. Claws, is in Santa Claus? Claw yeah. All right, thanks very much. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, Santa, the city is covered in snow tonight. Where did my love?